What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Spanish Empire. Not the Spanish Empire, sorry I was looking at Spain. The Italian States. So to pick up where we left off, we are dealing with some rather annoying behaviour from the Russian uh, the Russian army. Because they are just annoying little scamps who rather than actually fighting you... Uh, man to man, they prefer to just run around your troops. Granted, the smart decision, but damn, it's still annoying. And this is why you end up needing lots and lots and lots of troops. So you're going to continue. I mean, you're going. That means you're going to go and leave Moscow, and you're going to go back in. You're marching in the right direction, so you can also chase off these two. What I'm hoping is that this army. Can get over to the river crossing, force these guys to fall back, and Ufa might actually slowly start to build some troops in the event that they decide to head that way. Um, I want to try and get get Astrakhan because we are probably going to demand the surrender of Chikask. Well, because we've already fought this last episode, so I'm just going to fight that because we did win that fight especially if we do know we've got a load of battles coming up against Britain so you guys yeah, infiltrate Tbilisi you guys that was your order so you're going to go down to Zahedin So many troops. And lots of them are just, I mean, lots of chaff, let's be honest. But who are they at war with? That's the question. They're allied with the Ottomans and Persia. At war with the Plains Nations, Denmark, the Pueblo Nations, Knights St. John, Russia, and Inuit. So they're at war with Russia. They could have pushed up, but they've decided not to. So you're continuing to push. So we need to, what we want to do is get ready. What? Why have I got angry upper class people there? I'm assuming that's some kind of bug. Because you're going to anchor down until these guys get a bit closer, then you're going to attack. So if I take Enrico Castro and I cross over the border, will that trigger them to do stuff? Because right now there's no great opportunities to lead their armies into... Uh, calamitous defeat. Yeah, it's some kind of bug. Because um, I, I was wondering if, if, if there's like any neat like river positions I could attack, but there isn't. Hmm. Yeah, you men all get ready for the next offensive. To be honest, you got well, you're yeah, you're gonna go straight across. Yeah, you better go straight across. These guys are replenishing, ready to be loaded onto the ships. Aha, so you guys might be able to leave Corland. Yes, there we go. So all these units, you need some good cavalry. I mean, yeah, it looks like it's a I don't quite know why it's happening to all my units, but whatever. Let's get you guys all back across. You guys, yeah, you're also coming over here. As are you. You're going to go... Oh yeah, you're, you've got a bit of a weird mix. So let's get rid of three of these armies. You hunker down and recruit. Three twenty-four pounders. Three twenty-four twenty-four pounder howitzers. Let's get get some heavy cavalry and some colonial light. So that's nine units, which means you can afford to lose three units. This many units of infantry. So let's get Nicola and Rizzi. We may also combine and let's start to slowly 
build up some armies here, although it will definitely take time. I hope that's not a permanent fix, those angry upper class people. We don't like you recruiting artillery. And you think, well, gee whiz. Especially as it means I can't actually see what the right what the right things to recruit are. That's general's bodyguard, don't want that. Heavy cavalry, yep. Hussars. I never normally that bother between the difference between 24 pounder and 12 pounder. I know 24 pounder artillery gets you is more does more damage, but 12 pounders aren't exactly bad. So Comey's been upgraded. The religious building, lots of top tier buildings. Karelia. Got a commercial port and a light galley. Army board in Munich. Build an army staff college. Can you guys leave yet? Minus eight. Nope. The happiness building is being upgraded. I suppose I should start to make make moves towards attacking the Knights of St. John. So every ship that's not broken. Declare war. I'm going to fight them I saw at some point anyway. So blockade there. Fleet. Okay, so let's take one sloop out. Let's get the militia unit out. Let's get you guys embarked. Deposit your troops off the beach. Then let's get you guys back to Cartagena. You guys got to Corsica. I'm pretty sure you guys should be okay with being left. Yeah. So the new men also land on their island. The new guys can do one last shuffle. I presume you won't be too unhappy. Nope. Good. You men get aboard. We can't attack because we haven't used any ports to get across, but we've deployed a bucket load of troops. So you can sail probably up here because we know we're going to need a lot of ships. So let's upgrade you to a global trading company. Same with you. Build a handful of sloops. Build a couple of sloops. There we go. Let's repair you. So yeah, they're definitely trying to... Well, they're really trying to convert Belgrade specifically out of all the others. But it's not working. You here need elite infantry or interesting infantry at least. But you can't get any because it's all... I've maxed them out, so you can recruit six infantry. There we go. Okay, let's see if crossing the border here is enough. Let's just do it with both of them. So you don't need to go that way. Let's get you onwards towards Afghanistan. Let's get you recruiting some couple of light galleys. So you, when this Ottoman raiding force gets within range, you will pounce because I'm pretty sure you'll be okay. See the army in England is now complete. March them north. So now we've got you. Heavy cavalry, regiment of horse. Let's get a rocket troop, just because why not? Three sets of guns, two howitzers. I don't think I can recruit too much interesting stuff apart from blunderbuss shotgunners, which I really don't like. 
And she might recruit some horse grenadier guards from London, because that's a bit more London-y, or British, I should say. Uh, infantry. And then up here, Edinburgh. Because I can't recruit anything more special than that. Let's recruit a bunch of line. And then let's build a, a brig to do some scouting. Let's take... Yeah. Okay, let's keep this navy recruiting more ships, because the Russians are just hanging around down here. We've got a couple of good ships, but to be honest, I don't really care about ships. Oh, we've got a couple of regions we haven't upgraded with top tier roads. Pretty sure through most of Europe we've done it. Not in Belgrade. Or Athens, or Rorea. That's a lot of growth we're missing out on. Yeah, most of them are okay. It's a heroic death of our Admiral to the Russians. Workers are on strike in Moscow. Not anymore, they're not. The spies are doing well. Region captured. We captured the Don. Okay, let's hit and turn and see how people react as our men continue their push. So they're getting ready to cross at the Crimea at Crimea. <laughs> so many troops. Yeah, we are going to need a good, a solid amount of men to face off Britain. Because look, we ain't going to do a quick city battle to knock all them out. They demand trade and 20 grand. No. We might push on Russia. Which wouldn't be the end of the world if they did. But I would like to try and mop up some of the uh, armies they've got some of the russian armies and get more troops to across to um across to the caucasus front let's see how the russians react Ooh, okay they are sending troops away Okay, that has spurred change. So I think the crossing, to be honest, I'm probably not going to do actually much attacking through Romania, but probably just going to expand the bridgehead. Oh, come on. Co try and attack at us. I mean, if, if they're going to be annoying and run right into the interior, I'm just going to go for Astrakhan, because I am not going to just going to chase them down. It's a waste of time. They're probably going to pick up an army. There's another Mexican fleet. Someone, someone doesn't appreciate how someone's driving outside. Oh, there's a, there's a uh, plantation upgrade. Let's hop over and get that as it's in our mind. As well as a port upgrade. Get you guys into here. So trade route raided. Fine. Military tech, top gallants, so Verona. I don't know how to get them to... I don't know how to get them to stop beyond just knocking them down. So our agents march them over to Bologna. Ah, un luogo di studio e cultura. Ah, un luogo di studio e cultura. Lots of Jesuit college upgrades. Which is critical. Yes, yeah, so what I'm actually tempted to do is cross over here and create a little pocket. Because I could maybe march forward and attack that force there. Because we know they are coming. 
you guys have run or gone around us. So let's recruit. Start recruiting a force behind us. Can't get any camels, which is frustrating. So let's get. Because this force needs to sally and start to attack, not directly attack them. You, I want you to hold the bridge, but to be honest, it looks like Ernesto's not going to... They're not going to push that far, that much from that direction. So let's attack you guys. Pity about the secondary attrition. So much so, actually. You guys might shuffle back. So if I can build another force, there's a bit of a garrison, these guys can strike east, because the only other crossing point apart from this bridge is this crossing here. There isn't even, well there is some down towards Baghdad, but don't want to push too far in that direction. I'd rather cross over into Ankara. So, my fleet, move out of the way. Pietro Cabotto. Cross. You men. Can you not cross because there's no room? Okay, right. You guys get out of the way then. These men. Because I do not want to leave them hanging. Get these guys across as well. You guys get ready. You guys are going to attack this force here with some reinforcements. I'm going to quickly nip to the loo one second, so I'll bring you guys back in a second. And I'm back. So this is the first blood being spilled in the in the uh, the invasion of Ankara. So these three units will have to hold the line during the initial. Uh, well, they won't necessarily have to hold the line. We do have those troops in Crimea. Um, but I want to keep the armies in northern Italy that are waiting for orders as a, a bit of a uh, reserve. They will land either where the enemy is threatening to overwhelm us or they will land in areas that are exposed. Either way, attacking Ankara will be critical to surrounding the British effort. So this plane, this raised plane area is quite good for my artillery. And again, even though they are, they, they've got a large army on paper, the actual combat fighting ability was quite low due to attrition. So we will be on the offensive. And we will want to try and annihilate as many as possible. As many Ottomans as, as is possible. So the artillery has opened up. All of it. All focusing on the same units. Okay, so you hit the camels. You hit that unit of troops you guys hit unit of general's bodyguard my heavy cavalry is going to be positioned to knock out their camels when they do decide to uh, use them against us see men run they can be very tired but it's worth doing even if these units are going to end up pushing quite aggressively forward. Enemy cavalry and camels are on the way. Horse guards engage. So these units are going to... Well, they'll be positioned okay where they are. General get around the flank. So my... Horse guards are going to beat the cavalry nomads. Horse guards hit the camel nomads. Regiment of horse get behind the lines. 
Howitzers fire round shot because the, the chance of friendly fire is quite high. General's bodyguard attack the archers. Make sure my heavy cavalry do focus on the camels. Like general to focus on the archers. Okay, we've got a unit of Nizam that's hunkered down. Pivot you guys up. Not attack the general's bodyguard with my guys. You guys focus on the camels. Artillery focus on the center. Actually, you guys might want to stay back here, positioned to ready to attack Ottoman infantry. The Fellaini are going to charge, but they're not going to make it. It's going to cavalry back here. These troops are going to knock back the enemy archers. A load of my field howitzers focus, field artillery focus on the general. Are they actually going to make my. Okay, it will be friendly fire that does that. Charge the Semini, put these Israeli. Uh, Nizam rifles, focus on them. Not so bothered about Nizam in general. Keep pushing up on a broad front. Get my heavy cavalry out of there. Book it, heavy cavalry. We're getting bogged down. Come on, you guys, take position. Just commit these guys into the melee to make sure that the Nizam is dealt with swiftly. You men push up. Field artillery to focus on the general's bodyguard. How it says drop shots in the center. Okay, Armenian archers stop firing at will. Janissary grenadier. Eh? New men charge the Muslim because they're causing us problems. Not like in the massive game-breaking sense, but they are causing issues. Mamelukes are winning. Charge the Nizam in the rear. So you get the infantry, you're going after the grenadiers. Fight the Nizam. Let's turn off all my artillery because I'm feeling I'm going to start to see friendly casualties slipping in. Turn guard mode off. So I want my infantry to do as much damage as possible to those guys. New men charge forward and attack this unit of Semini. You guys attack the Nizam. You guys keep going after the Janissaries. The Israelis don't have long to last. The Mamelukes are going to go down pretty quick. Relatively quick. I mean, they're quite a big unit, really. 
run around the semi because it, like, it looks like they're taking pot shots. You guys get over here as well. Oh, General's bodyguard's back. These Muslim will do. Well, they will break. You men attack the General's bodyguard. You guys attack the Semini. You guys can go after the Nizam infantry. You guys go after that Nizam infantry. You guys all attack the Israeli because they're all so close. Let's take everyone. Let's the cavalry. The cavalry run back this way. Chase down that unit of infantry. Then right, we're going to continue. It's been a bloody battle. Partly due to my butchery and my willingness to charge everyone into melee. So if you knock out those guys, good. You can then attack that unit of Muslim, the general. Okay, you guys, yeah, you hit the infantry. You guys hit that unit of infantry. So it is very likely that we will then get a, we will provoke a response. So this army might have to be heavily on the defensive for the next battle, which isn't bad. Some of these units, yeah, they'd be difficult ones to take out. So rather than fight and chase down those Semini, these guys, if they can take out the Nizam infantry, they're going to come over here. No, they're not, because they're too far away. So... Ooh, you men try to chase down the Israeli unit, because there's only one of them. That'd be quite a nice kill. Good kill, good kill. So now it's just this guy. This Oh, they're definitely going to rout. Yeah. So now it's down to you and your Semini, who have routed. Okay. So that's one army defeated. Plenty more where they came from. So you men replenish. These guys don't have the move to, to replace them on the front. Okay, now you guys don't have cut just just about can't cross. You go scout this port. This port is unprotected. So I could land you guys at the port. It's a human march to the west. You men march up to here. Oh, someone's moped's going past. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. My window is open and there's not, not a lot I can do about someone someone driving a pea shooter along the road. Okay. So you men can also get into Sinop. And reinforce. Well, you guys can stay in the middle and reinforce both. So that's another successful landing. You guys are going to be my mobile reserve. They can land either here or I can sail them around to land on the northern shores. This army is nearly in perfect shape. Fabiano Castelli. Let's get you guys over to Crimea. And then you're going to run to the other side of this guy and attack him and auto-resolve it, because that's just... He's just being annoying. Good damn! Unfortunately, I don't think you lost too many interesting units. You could do another heavy cavalry and two infantry is order of the day for you. No, not colonial line. 
line infantry. Actually, you don't even need it. Cavalry, maybe. You can stop. Ufa can stop building. Actually, no, you don't even need that. You men reinforce Bartolomeo. You men are also going to advance. So yeah, they're running around Moscow being annoying, so the move has got to be... Actually, if I push up to that bridge, I might be able to trick them into a bridge battle. You guys continue to replenish. You guys... You're going to get over here in pretty short order. I just need to take Taki as well, so I might, I might just have to attack these guys. No, I'd like them to try and take Moscow though, that's the thing. If I get you guys up to the bridge, hopefully you guys can, if they go this way, I can try and get them to a bridge battle. We've got plenty of reinforcements if they do try and attack. So that's not that's not a problem. You guys are nearly all ready to go over. Because I want to send them all over in one go. I really want to try and convert Konigsberg. So you've still got places to march. Okay. Ooh. Bavaria, let's get an ordnance board. Upgrade. A happiness building, an upgrade. Something else in Bavaria, but I missed it. Oh no, it's church school in Palestine. Okay. So now I've upgraded your happiness building. Can I now leave? Minus seven. What? How is it worse? Oh well. Okay. Uh, where did I? There we go. So let's send this brig up to reconnoitre Reykjavik. They might have an annoyingly large army there. Two! Yeah. So I want two armies to secure it. Can you, rather than pushing to try and chase after the Russians, you guys are going to... Well, one of you is going to push on to Tarki. You are going to pick up a cavalry recruit a reinforcement from somewhere. You're going to keep track of the Russians. Again, so we've got top gallants, but we can't do anything about it. Well, we can't do anything to fix it yet. Lots of ships have been recruited. Don't really need, need any more for now. They might be pushing on to Taki. Okay, let's hit in turn. I am very, very curious to see how the Ottomans respond to our attacks. A unit exchange. Uh, well, you don't need as much infantry as that. So instead have that amount of artillery. Unit recruitment just carrying on creating chains of men wandering about. See, part of the problem now about having about attack... Well, see, part of the problem... When we take out the Ottomans, we're going to have quite a bigger front line against the British than we would if we didn't attack the Ottomans. So that's part of it. another good reason why we need so many troops. Uh -oh. I need to block the uh, pass again because I don't want them to start sending troops elsewhere. One of well, someone, someone's just died. I heard them go. Oh, no, they're still not interested in pushing forward to try and, and trying to uh, take us out. 
their armies. Still pushing up troops. Well, they're all going to fall their armies back towards Astrakhan because they know that's why I'm just running my guys. You're going to go to Kiev. No, you're going to go west. Okay, so I might have to send dispatch troops east from my planned invasion of the Americas. Just to catch them before they do anything too annoying. I don't think there's a quick way I can take both these regions without them getting to somewhere important. Okay, obviously that's gonna gonna have to happen. So you are both following this highway. Okay, so you go to Minsk because you can respond north or south depending on where they want to go. You march up to Kiev in case they push south. You can also go with them. You so don't, don't have a general so I may as well recruit one. Giordiano <laughs> Bevalaka. Combine the cavalry. Get the artillery across. So he needs some how it's it? some field artillery. And two more howies. Let's combine these guys together. Take the most elite the more elite troops and join them together. Six units, he's recruiting four units of artillery. He's already got his cavalry, so let's do that. Let's repair the mine. Repair the farm. So we've actually got away with that fairly well. So we are going to continue to push and attack Kornali. You guys, can you actually get through that? No, that's quite an impenetrable block of mountains. You can't even get through there. Ooh, in which case, then, you guys are going to push eastward. Don't join that army. Let's take this fleet, because if I scoot over here, how likely is it they're going to load up an army and sail it somewhere annoying? And I think the odds are quite high, so I'm just going to sail them back here to prevent that from happening. Ordini, Capitano. A suspicious death. Well, I think they've got an assassin around here somewhere. Okay, so this force can march out. Combine these troops in Damascus. You're recruiting some artillery, so let's recruit another brace of infantry. So you guys are ready to, ready to attack the Ottomans. Ideally, I'd like two of these. One of these to secure this bridge and one to go down here to threaten Baghdad. But we've got a lot of battles to do. Hey! Got another agent in Bosnia. Um, yeah, you can... Why is Bosnia not entirely happy with us? People in government, religious unrest. Okay, so I might keep him here because he's offsetting the presence of the um, Ottoman agent. There's no point upgrading that, because it's going to get raided immediately. Research and tech. Bologna, work on percussion cap. And then in three turns, that's all the technology research that we can just destroy our recruitment centres. Oh, God. Okay, let's take four of these units and send them south. They were meant, originally meant to reinforce this army, but whatever. You're completed, so let's get two generals bodyguard, a hussar, and a regiment of horse. Then once this army is completed, they can both land and take Reykjavik. But let's start west to east. We need to go to Malta. We're going to take you. And we're going to attack the city. So... 
as usual, the, the aim of the game is to attack the city before and capture it before this army comes in to reinforce. If they do come in, not a big deal, because we outnumber them significantly. Actually, I might even swap some troops around so that the more useful ones come in first. Cool. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the Assault on Valletta. Cheers everyone.